Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So today I'm going to talk about the the CT chest. So when would you go for the CT chest with contrast and HRCT? And what is the basic difference between the CT chest and the HRCT? Well, in the in the CT, if we talk about only the CT. The section that we take in the city that or at a longer distance is compared to the HRCT. In HRCT, we take the section very close to one another. In the HRCT, we take the section very close to one another, about 1 mm, 0.5 to 1 mm. In the CT, we take the section at a longer distance. So, the HRCT help us to detect even a small lesion. So, when we do, when will we go for the HRCT? The high resolution CT scan. When we want to see the fine details of the lung parenchyma, when we want to see the fine details of the lung parenchyma, we are not interested to see the lymph nodes. We are not interested to see the, the pleural splat signs and other things like that, like the blood supply, etc. We are only interested to see the fine details of the lung pain chyma. So the answer is HRCT or when the contrast is contraindicated. Like for example, say a person is having CKD, acute renal failure, or the person cannot wait for the CT scan with contrast that takes time you have to take time for HRCT that is within minutes you are not supposed to take time for the HRCT the ILD interstitial lung diseases so we do HRCT in the case of interstitial lung diseases all interstitial lung diseases the obstructive lung diseases the COPD the asthma bronchiectasis in all these diseases, we want to look at the parenchyma. We are not interested to see the lymph nodes. We are not interested to see the blood supply, etc. So in ILD, interstitial lung diseases, there is a complete list of those. IPF, sarcoidosis, uh, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, asbestosis, berylosis, silicosis, coid worker, pneumoconiosis. Uh, in obstructive diseases, COPD, asthma, bronchiectasis. So we go for this. CT chest with contrast is the answer for infection. Point number one, cancer, sarcoidosis. If you want to look bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy, a patient is having bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy, so you should go for uh, CT chest with contrast and you suspect sarcoidosis. The lymph nodes, if you want to look at the lymph nodes, the empyema and pneumonia. Now the question may arise, why do we advise the HRCT in case of the COVID-19? The answer is very simple. Because CT chest with contrast, uh, if you are going to do CT chest with contrast in every patient, then it is very disastrous for the health system as well as for the patient because HRCT you get the film in, in a half an hour and for the CT chest with contrast you need a contrast you need RFTs and all the stuff like that so if you can diagnose an HRCT no need to go for CT with contrast like for example say there is a lesion suppose this is lung and this is the region over there and if you you are taking the CT you take section over there you take section over there you missed that legion you missed that legion and you were looking for the finer details of the lung pain chyma so you missed that legion you missed the diagnosis so if like for example say there are a lot of fibrotic changes over here going on and you are taking the section at a longer distance you are missing the fibrotic changes if you are missing the fibrotic changes you are labeling the patient as normal 
in spite of the disease lying over there but because of the the, the the characteristic of the section you are taking it a very longer distance you are missing that lesion so the answer is HRCT HRCT will take the section over smaller distance so that can pick the lesion what if your suspicion is very high and the HRCT does not pick the lesion spiral CT you go for spiral CT the spiral CT uh, take very smaller section even then HRCT and what is the difference between the screening CT and the diagnostic CT dose of radiation the dose of radiation in the screening CT the dose is low that is one third of that of diagnostic CT thank you for watching